take you through how to do a worm extraction test using mustard um, in, mixed up in some water. So we've mixed up about 30 grams of Coleman's white mustard powder in two litres of water or thereabouts and then we're just going to pour that on this prepared square of about 250 mil square so that's a sixteenth of a square meter we pour roughly half of it on give that about five minutes uh, and just pick up the worms as they come out of the ground and when we pop they pop them into a a little pot of water just so they can give themselves a wash off when the first flush of worms stop we'll pour the second liter on give it another good shake before you do that get the mustard well dispersed and then wait for another five or so minutes because it will take that long for the deep working worms to come up your test usually runs for about 10 minutes if there's a lot of worms in the soil they'll keep coming but at some point they'll stop uh, 10 minutes is usually a good time uh, to allow the test to run you'll get a good idea of what worms you've got in this particular test we've extracted 16 worms, one large deep working worm and the rest all surface working worms from the surface, very tiny ones down to uh, the worms that work to about 6 inches horizontally in the soil. And 16 worms for this area is a good count so I'm pleased with that. What I would normally do is weigh these worms up. If I was doing a, um, a bit of research across the site so that we can compare uh, how many worms, weight of worms we have per hectare working in our working in our soils and worms are a really good indicator of your soil health and how it's developing we've also counted about half a dozen uh, beetles exiting the area uh, they don't like the mustard either beetles is a good sign again six beetles in that area is an excellent score um, and we've had around 12 slugs come out of the soil as well we're in a crop of oilseed grapes so having a high count of slugs we would expect within this crop mm -hmm.